Have you ever imagined if your car can go farther with the fuel consumption that you normally use, but this one will only produce water vapor which is certainly friendly to the environment? Hmm, can that happen? Yes, of course! All of that can certainly happen with the emergence of the technology called hydrogen fuel cell. Then, what is hydrogen fuel cell? Hydrogen fuel cell use chemical reaction between oxygen and hydrogen to produce electrical energy that will drive the motor in your car. Compared to combustion technology with hydrocarbon fuels, hydrogen fuel cell can produce energy per unit mass of 122 kJ per gram or 2.75 times greater. Uniquely, hydrogen is actually very abundant. It's just that its utilization is currently not optimal. How could that be? One of the materials that we can treat into hydrogen is biomass. Biomass is plant or animal material used for energy production or in various industrial processes as raw material for various products. Within a year, the total biomass produced in all over the world reaches 200 million tons and will continue to increase every year. The waste we mentioned before can be converted into hydrogen gas using thermophilic bacteria. Recently, much attention focused on thermophiles as attractive alternatives for the production of hydrogen. Notably, the production of hydrogen benefits from some general advantages that are gained by performing process at elevated temperatures such as a lower viscosity, better mixing, less risk of contamination, higher reaction rates, and no need for cooling of the bioreactor. Process of biohydrogen production from biomass is divided into three main stages, namely preparation and pretreatment, production processes, packaging and storage. In the preparation and pretreatment process, the biomass in the storage tank is first flowed to a continuous washing device using a porous conveyor to remove sand and soil, which can inhibit the fermentation process. After undergoing a washing process, the biomass is then dried using a continuous rotary dryer to remove water levels which can cause microbial and fungal attacks. After drying this biomass, it proceeds to the first pretreatment process, namely physical pretreatment using a steam explosion. After degraded in a steam explosion, biomass enters the bioreactors and reacts with bacteria to degrade glycosidic bonds to glucose. The methagonic phase of the resulting glucose is inhibited towards the formation of methane and carbon dioxide through the fermentation process in order to obtain the direction of the reaction towards hydrogen formation. The glucose form is stopped to the formation reaction of acetic acid and butyrate. Theoretically, there will be 4 moles of hydrogen per mole glucose from acetic acid, but only 2 moles of hydrogen per mole of glucose are formed if they are derived from butyric acid. Many feasibility studies have been conducted for this thermophilic biohydrogen production processes. Tapia Vega et al. in their paper shows that to produce 50 m3 of hydrogen with 300 m3 methane as side product need approximately $930,000 to buy the equipment needed such as the bioreactors and purification systems. As for the operating expenditures, about $386,000 needed to make the biohydrogen plant running with $797,000 revenue. The internal rate of return calculated using IRR method would be 32.47% which is satisfactory enough for this process. The biological hydrogen production process are mostly operated at ambient temperatures and atmospheric pressure and those are less energy intensive. These processes are not only environmentally friendly, but also lead to opening up new avenues for the utilization of renewable energy resources that are inexhaustible. In addition, they can also use various waste materials, which facilitate waste recycling. This biohydrogen production is a sustainable process concerning environmental issues.